Hello, it's Sunday morning, 15th of April 2007. This is our house. And this is our, our ivy. Our ivy has got a bit out of hand. And tomorrow, a, a guy's coming to take it all down. This is what it looks like. It's very dense, very thick. It goes quite a long way. It stands out from the wall a long way. You can't really see there, but it does. When it comes down, it's going to make a terrible mess on the wall. There's going to be all the marks from where it's been. But we hope that will weather away. You can see it's grown. It started out with three plants actually on the wall. You can see it's grown up now. This is it from the other side. We started with three plants there in that little space behind the wall, which have now grown up and spread all over the wall of the house, which was what we wanted in the first place because it's just a plain brick wall with no features at all. And it's also spread out along the wall and over the outside wall here. It's spread round the back but we keep having it trimmed because it used to go right up to the eaves and it's spread round the front as well. Same house, same ivy but from the back. That's where it started down there in that little bit along the side of the house right at the wall and spread front and back. We've had it trimmed every year for many years now to keep it from getting out of hand but it's finally going to have to go. Monday afternoon, James and Addy have made a good start on taking down the ivy. You can see it's all been taken off from the shingles but they've still got the brickwork at the back half of the house to go. This is what it looks like when it's taken down off the wall. See, it's just a big clump of roots and tangle. So far, he's got very little damage. There's um, a cracked tile up there and he's left a bit of ivy that's holding it together. And there's a shingle missing. One missing there. Okay, it broke off. And there's one missing around the other side up there. But apart from that, that's all. And we were really worried about this. So, not bad at all. It's day two and going well and this is more or less what's come down from the side of the house that the, the debris from the front is in the front garden. This is what's come down from the side. Just great thick mats of ivy. You can see it, see the lines on it where it's been on the wall. Amazing, isn't it? What James has been doing is more or less crowbarring it off the wall, taking these big chunks and just prizing them away so it gets big enough to kind of come down and eddy. Eddy cuts away the roots at the bottom so that it comes off more easily. There's still that corner to do. That's James. Yeah.
Yep, you can see the bricks there very clearly. Amazing stuff. Wednesday now, day three. That's it. They're finished. No ivy left. I'll show you some close-ups. Just hold on. This is what the walls look like when you're close to. You can see all these little fibres. But they've all cleaned off very well, so overall it doesn't look too bad. And these are the roots. Um, we have to put all the wires back tacked onto the wall, but these are the, in effect, the trunks that the ivy had grown from. You can see how thick they are. Quite big, really. So they've poisoned these off, and these will die. And they've had to leave some bits here that are stuck behind the wires, but these will die off of their own accord. So I've got a little string of dead ivy bits. <laughs> but apart from that, it's gone well. Hmm. Alright, this is it now that it's all finished. House, no ivy. Looks a bit bare. I expect I'll get used to it. <laughs>